In this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how you can create your own ebook. I'm gonna show you one that I created earlier, and better yet, we're gonna use AI to help us build it. Some of the benefits of creating your own ebook are that you can easily share the information, you can even charge for the information, you'll be able to make updates whenever you like, and ebooks are a great way to help build your newsletter or get subscribers. Here's an example of an ebook that I created called AI for Business Opportunities. I use AI to help me come up with the title, the cover, and then the contents of this book. And as we go down, you can see the chapters, and then each chapter is fleshed out with a whole bunch of juicy information. So here's how you create your own ebook in four simple steps. Step one, we're gonna come up with the structure or the outline of the ebook. Step two is filling out the chapters. Step three is pulling it all together through something like Word or Canva or Google Docs. And step four, which is my favorite, is generating a cover. We can use a whole bunch of different AI or Canva, depending on what you like. But when we get to that, I'll tell you more about it. You can go in any order you like, but I recommend that you start with the outline. Now, if you're serious about business and you wanna learn more and start your own side hustle, then make sure you click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on videos like this. And let's get straight into the video. So step one is the outline of our ebook, and this is where we're defining the structure of the ebook. This is a really critical step because we're defining the journey that our readers are gonna to take to get the information that you wanna share. And I recommend that you use ChatGPT or Gemini to help you come up with the structure. So I've just asked ChatGPT to come up with the chapter titles for an ebook about AI business opportunities. Let's have a read, Introduction to AI Business, Harnessing AI. Hmm, I'm reading this, it's pretty general, and I've left this in the video because I wanna show you what it's like to work with AI and see that it's more like a friend that you have to help coax into getting the right answers for you. You don't just get them straight away. Okay, so I've just revised a question to ChatGPT. This time I've asked for business opportunities around AI that are gonna help beginner entrepreneurs to make money. I'm just having a read here and I'm a lot happy with the result. So now we've got identifying business opportunities, we've got market research and validation, choosing the right business model. I'm a lot happier with this response and it just goes to show that ChatGPT has a lot of power, same with Gemini. It's just you have to work with this software a little more. Now that we have the outline of the ebook, we're gonna move into filling out the chapters so that we can create our full ebook. When you're creating your chapters, just think about how many words you wanna create, think about how long this book is gonna be and who the customer is that you're creating this ebook for. For myself, this is just gonna be a few thousand words on AI business opportunities. It's a really simple ebook that I wanna give away for free. So I'm gonna copy the chapter titles and subheadings down to the prompt. I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to write a thousand word chapter about AI business opportunities for beginner entrepreneurs and let's see what happens. Okay, so here's our chapter and I'm just having a quick read. I'm pretty happy with the result. It seems to have hit the points, but I really recommend that you go through each chapter and you add your own flair to give it personality so it's not just ripped straight from AI. AI tends to sound a bit robotic, so you want to avoid that by adding some personality and a touch of humanness. Now that we've created our first chapter, we can begin to start pulling everything together. I like to do that through Word, but you can easily do that through Canva or through Google Docs. Canva is really nice because it can make your table of contents and pages look really elegant. I'm just gonna use Word for this ebook because I find Word easy to format and I can always copy it into Canva once it's finished. So here we go, here's our first chapter in Word. And when you paste, just make sure that you paste as text only, that removes all the formatting. You'll be in a lot of hurt at the end if you don't do this step. And now we use the same prompt and we'll do it for chapter two. And ChatGPT is now pumping out chapter two of our ebook. And how cool is this? This is an ebook that you created, technically with AI, but it's still under your influence. I'll just copy chapter two and I'll paste it in. Remember to keep as text. When it comes to formatting, you wanna select the chapter titles. That'll be heading two. Heading one is your ebook title. The next step once you have all your chapters in is to start formatting. We're gonna add our table of contents. Just click on references and table of contents and pick whichever table of contents that you like. So here we've got our two chapters and if you want to, you can even make subheadings. The way I do that is by selecting heading three. And now if I wanna update the table of contents based on the changes I've made, I just update the table at the top. I do it for the entire table and voila, you got chapter one with the subheading. By the way, if you don't like the colors or the fonts, it's really easy to change up here. You just modify it to whatever title and headings that you like. You can change the color however you wanna do it. You're only limited by your creativity. And if you take a look at this ebook that I created, I did use some new styles. I added a little footer. You can really unleash your creativity with these ebooks. And now we're moving on to my favorite step, which is to create the ebook cover. So for ebook covers, it's awesome because now you can use AI to create them. So I've started with Copilot and I've asked it to create an advanced humanoid robot that is white. And let's see what it creates. So this is a really simple prompt. And like before, you start out with something that's pretty generic. 
You really want to hone it in to get exactly what you want. I started to get really specific about the details I wanted to see in the robot and this is what Copilot created. I did the same thing in Gemini and this is what Gemini created. I kind of like this last one. Once you've found the image that you really like, we're going to download it and we're going to use it for our cover. So I'll just click download from Gemini. And now we're going to take our design over to Canva to create the title page. Now I'm in Australia and we use A4 paper and A4 paper in Word is 1024 by 1280. So that's the proportion that I've got. Feel free to use whatever you like. I've got my AI created cover. And then now I just want to create a title for this book. And something that really helps you to get those creative juices flowing is to ask ChatGPT to help you come up with some ideas. So I asked ChatGPT to help me come up with a title for the cover. It came up with one, but obviously I'm not happy with one. So I'm going to ask it again to come up with 10. And I've got a list of 10 ideas here that I can use. I kind of like the AI advantage, so I'll probably go with that one. Just remember guys to not get too stuck on details. What you really want to do is make sure that your actions are moving forward. Things like the image or the title aren't as important as the actual body of the book, which is all held up by the structure. Honestly, this is something I learned in university is the structure of the book is where you make or break the book itself. And that's because that's the journey that you're defining for someone. If you don't define a good journey, then people are going to have a bad ride. They're not going to enjoy it and they're not going to learn the message that you're trying to teach. So I'm going to paste my title and I'm going to dice it up into a few different sections. We're going to make our font nice and big so it pops and we're going to thicken it up. So now I'm seeing it's a little hard to read our font. So I'm going to add a gradient to help the words pop a little more. And I'm going to do that by searching the word gradient in the search box. And as I scroll along, there's some paid ones, but there's also some free ones that do exactly the same thing. I'll click on one of these free ones and bada bing, bada boom. Look at that ebook cover. That looks awesome. I'm going to click on download. I'm going to download it as a PNG. And when we paste our cover into the word document, you're going to want to set it in front of text. Now, just remember this is an example. So I don't have all my chapters here. When you complete yours, you're going to have read through the whole thing. You're going to be happy with the structure. You will have edited the chapters depending on how you want to change things and add your own personality. Once you're happy with the design, you're going to go to file, export, and we're going to create a PDF. I'm going to publish it to my ebook folder. And would you look at that? We have created our first ebook. I just really get blown away by the AI cover photos. I think they are so cool. And if you're creative, I think you can do so much in creating a cover that really draws people in and attracts attention without even saying anything. And going back to my example, we just created that in 10 minutes, but here is one that I created earlier. It's got a nice cover. It's got the nice title. I've formatted all the headings. The table of contents is looking pretty snatched. It's honestly going to be a good read. Now, when it comes to sharing an ebook, one of the ways that I've found work really well is to share it as a free giveaway to your newsletter. You can also give it away for free to your audience if they watch your video or as a way to entice people to give them value first before selling a product. Of course, the ebook itself can be the product and so that can be part of your course or it can be part of your package that you deliver to a customer to help them out. There's honestly a lot you can do with eBooks. We've really just scratched the surface in this video. If you're interested in making money online and you want to learn more, subscribe to my newsletter. In it, you're going to see my free eBook. I provide 17 solid side hustles that you can start today to start building your online business empire. Subscribe and I'll see you next week with another banger. Cheers.